Hello, seventh graders and parents of seventh graders. This is Mr. Johnson, uh, one of the school counselors here at Stillwell. And I am just creating a presentation here for our eighth grade registration um, that will be happening here on uh, starting Monday, uh, February 14th. And just wanna walk you through the process here of um, what, what classes are offered in eighth grade, as well as um, um, some different options um, that you can look into um, uh, as, as for sign up. Um, so we're going to be doing our course sign up starting on, on Monday. I will be I will be um, coming into science classes to talk with seventh graders about the different offerings um, that are out there, and um, um, you'll have some options to, um, to work through some things and, and make some decisions. So we'll get going here, and um, the first thing that we want to um, talk about are our goals uh, with eighth grade. And our number, our, our, one of our goals is, is for students to get uh, get connected and stay connected. Um, eighth grade is a great year to start trying different things out with activities, um, with athletics, um, with our, with academics. There's some different options um, to get involved there. Um, so we really want our students to um, get connected if they haven't gotten connected yet with, with any of those things. And also stay connected um, through this. It's a great opportunity to start um, looking at those options as they move into high school, um, which leads us into our second goal. Um, the at, with with eighth grade, we really want to start preparing our students for high school. Um, high school is our next step after, obviously after um, Stillwell, and uh, we want to start um, students to kind of start getting a little taste of what it's like to be in high school and look at some of those opportunities. We do have some classes which we'll talk about today um, that are available that are high school level, and um, but really all of our classes are geared towards preparing students for high school. The last and probably most important goal is for our students to have a great learning experience. We want our students to enjoy uh, the the um, experience they have in eighth grade, um, experience uh, you know the the, the uh, opportunity to uh, be challenged, but yet still feel comfortable in their learning, and uh, um, take some risks and, and to look at some things that um, maybe they might be interested in and kind of stretching themselves a little bit. So we really want um, the eighth grade experience to be great here at Stillwell and and really to prepare them. Um, for what's ahead. All right, so our um, course registration so, um, selection, some of the learning targets, some of the goals that we have for this process here is that students will, students and families will understand the registration process. So we want um, um, students and families to know, you know, what 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 are the offerings are and um, how to get signed up for those offerings. Um, we also want students to and families to be informed about our PBL pathways. Our, um, our new option for PE, which is Fundamentals of Training, um, some of our advanced courses that we are offering for eighth grade, and then also our eighth grade electives. <coughs> Excuse me. Our registration process really starts on February 11th. There'll be an email sent out to all students um, in regards to their advanced and regular recommendations um, by their teachers, and then also um, an identification of the current support classes that are used. This will be helpful when we start our sign-up process on the 14th, and that's when I will be coming into science classrooms, and um, students will have the opportunity to fill out a um, uh, form on Canvas um, in regards to advanced regular classes and also elective choices, so they're going to have a chance to start selecting some of those courses on the 14th. Um, within the within this process, we want we are giving the opportunity for us to have parent teacher conferences, which will happen on February 16th, 17th, and the 21st. And then we're going to have um, the 21st be when our course selections are due. So at the end of the day, after those parent teacher conferences have happened, um, we're going to request that our course selections are submitted on that form in Canvas. And we'll walk through what that form looks like in this video. All right, so what you want to do um, um, first is, is make sure that you have the course in Canvas. And it looks something like this. This was, this was actually a picture of my last year's course, so the, the year is off on it. It's at 2021, but it should say 2021 seventh grade Johnson. And so I'm going to open up Canvas here and show you what um, that'll look like. And so on my Canvas page here, it's this icon. So you um, all of our seventh graders should see this icon, this class in here they've all been enrolled in this and a lot of you probably have already looked at this because there's some some uh, good information on there all right so um this is going to give you some information about some of our course offerings um some different um course information that you can look into and then also our course registration sign up is going to be on here so you'll have an opportunity to um 
this is where you will be signing up for classes and um, and then, uh, you know, using this to get that information about the different classes that are offered in eighth grade. All right. So we'll go back to our our um, our presentation here. One other thing I want to say here is that this this has a lot of different information about um, some of our advanced courses, some of our um, like our Spanish one, um, some things that you want to look at. If you're planning on taking any advanced course, I would strongly recommend that you do these self assessments down here as they are good indicators of um, qualities that uh, uh, have shown success in those classes. All right, back to our slideshow here. And as I said, a course selection um, is going to happen on Canvas in this class. And we looked at there um, those different uh, the course information, and we'll kind of talk about the sign up here in a little bit. But before we do that, and, that, and like I said, the course selection is going to happen on our um, uh, on the Canvas there. I'll show you what this form looks like in here in a little bit. But let's talk a little bit about the curriculum for for um, eighth grade. Um, as with seventh grade, we um, we have required classes that all students are going to take. We have our math, science, social studies, and English. And so all of our students will have these classes in their schedule. And then we'll also have PE um, for all students and then our elective wheel. And we'll discuss, we'll discuss each of those different aspects here right now. So the first thing I want to talk about is the, our, our project-based learning opportunity. And so um, within the eighth grade, just like in our seventh grade, we do have a project-based learning um, opportunity, our PBL. On, a, on Canvas, there's a there's a link on there that shows um, some information about project-based learning. Um, but um, the main difference that you're going to see here is that instead of having a, an English and social studies class, you'll have those two classes, but it'll be combined and, call, and called humanities. And so that's a, um, one class that's usually, a, you know, pretty, if, if you've been up in those classrooms, they're a large classroom, so they usually have, um, you know, about double the amount of kids that most classes have, around 50 to 60 kids. And they combine um, the, the, the curriculum areas um, to, to kind of um, do some different projects and, um, and, and do some different things uh, for the community and stuff like that. <clears throat> great, great option if, if students like to work in groups or want to be challenged in groups. But just remember that all grades are individual, so you're not uh, graded based on your group. And the last thing I want to say is that anyone can sign up for this. Even if you were not in PBL in seventh grade, you can sign up for PBL in eighth grade. So feel free to sign up if you have some friends that are in it or that were in it that had a great experience. Feel free to join them um, in this next year with that. And there'll be an option for to sign up for that on our registration form. In, in eighth grade, we also have a, a new option for PE. Um, it's called Fundamentals of Training. And um, the main difference of this is there's a focus on strength and conditioning. So students will work on form and fo movement. Um, they're going to work on strength and flexibility and speed. Some different things that they do in there is yoga, plyometrics, weight training, some stretching activities. This is more of an individual-based um, option rather than um, a group-based option, which is most what um, students have experience with, with PE. So it's, a, it's focusing on the, um, you know, your individual strength, your individual flexibility and speed, rather than doing the group activities like, like your dodgeball or the different team activities that you do. So that, that will be an option to sign up for when we do our, when we fill out our form. And then I also want to talk about the eighth grade wheel. Um, so just like in seventh grade, um, we have an eighth grade elective wheel. And there's three classes um, that are in that wheel and they each meet for 12 weeks during, a, during one period. So you have 12 weeks of engineering tech, 12 weeks of finance or family consumer science, and then 12 weeks of financial literacy. With our engineering technology, um, this is uh, largely focusing on problem solving and hands-on skills it's, um, in a lab environment, either in the workshop or in the computer lab. Um, you get to work with hand and power tools, um, do some 3D printer and laser engraving. And some of the um, key areas that they focus on are building and trades, communication, manufacturing, and transportation. Um, another option that we have is our family consumer science, or another part of our wheel is our family consumer science, and that's a, another hands-on course, um, project-based in a collaborative setting. Um, some things that they work on there are textiles, um, elements of design, ch child development, nutrition, culinary arts, and then um, some different um, some different careers in, in FACS, um, in a, a lot of hospitality careers that, that are in their restaurant hospitality careers. The last option for our um, elective wheel, so these are all three classes within that wheel here that all, the, all eighth graders will take, is our financial literacy. 
Um, the goal of this class is to pre prepare students for life as an educated independence consumer. So talking about money, talking about um, just budgeting, different things like that. Um, also talks about, um, you know, job skills, interview skills, resume building, um, looking at investments, um, looking at advertisement, budgeting and stuff like that. So great option for students to learn a little bit more about, um, you know, the business side of things and, and also the financial um, aspects. So um, those are our, kind of our elective um, aspects in our PE. Um, we're going to talk now a little bit about our core classes. Um, within our eighth grade curriculum. And so, um, as I said before, all students will be taking math, science, English, and social studies. For math, ultimately, students are going to follow along on a um, on the path that they were in uh, usually. So if um, they were in um, um, math A for, for, um, for seventh grade, they'll move on to pre-algebra A. If they were in math B, math 7B, uh, they'll be on pre-algebra B. And then we have some students who are taking pre-algebra this, this year as seventh graders. They will move on to Algebra C. And we did have some students who were taking um, Algebra as, eight, as seventh graders, and they will move on to Geometry C. Our Algebra and our Geometry are ones that get high school credit. None of our other math classes get high school credit. But if you are taking Algebra or Geometry, those will be classes that you get high school credit for. Now, we're going to talk about a little bit about our advanced courses with our other th three cores there, our English, our science, English, and social studies. And there was an email sent on Friday, uh, February 11th at around 3 o'clock. And you should be able to um, see that email in your inbox for students. But if you do not, um, one way you can find it is to type in hashtag search tigers in your search email. And I'm going to show you right now what that email looks like. So if you look at the screen here, this is the email that you should get. And um, in the in the heading, it'll say eighth grade course sign up recommendations for, and it'll have your name on there. Obviously, my name's listed on there. I'm using this as a demo. Um, but in the email, it's talking to you a little bit about our sign up, and then it'll it'll pass on some recommendations from my teachers, the teachers that I have currently in regards to taking advanced or regular courses for next year. These are recommendations. Um, you do have an option of you know, choosing um, the opposite of what they, what was recommended, but this is what your teachers are recommending. And if you do choose the opposite of what you, um, what was decided on, please, you know, make sure that you talk with your teachers about that. Um, they're going to, you know, more than likely, they're not going to tell you you can't take it, but they're just going to let you know what to kind of consider, um, you know, when you do get into it and stuff like that. So this is the email that was sent out. And so, Again, looking at that email, you're going to see what what those options were um, as far as um, the things that we're doing. We're going to focus on this email here in a little bit. <laughs> um, if you look at my example here, I was nomin or I was recommended for advanced social studies, as well as regular science and regular English. Okay, because that is where the X's are at. Okay, so based on those recommendations, um, uh, they would say you know they 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 think that. I'd be a good fit for advanced social studies and a good fit for, for regular science and, and regular um, English. Now, just talking about the advanced courses real quick. Um, like I said, we're going to get a chance to, to show you how to sign up for those. Um, but the advanced offerings, um, the one I really want to focus on is our physical science. Um, so in, that, in eighth grade, you have the option of taking advanced physical science, which is a high school level course. Um, it does get high school credit. It's compacted, meaning it's going to have both eighth grade and ninth grade content. And because of that, it goes at a very, very, very fast pace. So um, it's very rigorous. Um, high, um, the, your teachers are going to um, expect that you have high levels of reading, writing, and math. Um, and, and really, um, in talking with the teachers, uh, math is a big component. There is a video on our Canvas page that um, that is done, was done by our eighth grade um, science teachers that is a good um, reference to look at in regards to the expectations that are involved with um, advanced science here. This does lead to enrollment in biology, which is um, in ninth grade, which is the advanced course um, as you move on as a freshman. So you have to take physical science as an eighth grader in order to take biology as a ninth grader. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, there is opportunities later on um, in high school to get into advanced. If you don't take advanced next year as an eighth grader, you'll still have plenty of options to take advanced um, courses later on. For um, advanced social studies in English, um, again, um, you know, you're, it's going to be an expectation that you have reading and writing at a high level. 
there's going to be more extensive projects that, um, that you're going to be involved in. So you really want to have a strong interest in that um, subject matter. You're going to be delving into a lot of, a lot of topics that are involved in those subjects. Um, so we really want our students who take this have, an, have a high interest in those subjects that they are taking. One thing to note, though, that's different than science is that there is no high school credit for this. So um, this is not going to go on a high school transcript. And if you decide to take advance next year as an eighth grader and it doesn't go well or you decide that it's not for you later on, you can move out of advance um, later on. You don't have to take an advanced course in ninth grade. So a little bit different than the science um, in that it's a little bit more flexible. We want students to have a, an opportunity to see what it's like to take a little bit more of an, of an advanced class in those two areas if they desire that. All right. And then also in that email, um, you'll see a, um, um, a listing of the support classes. Um, so I'll go back to the email here in a little bit, but this is going to identify what support classes our students currently have in their um, schedule. We'll um, use that when we're signing up, and I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit. But um, if you don't have anything in, your, in, in these boxes here, that means that you are currently in no support classes. So it just means that there's currently none of those in your schedule. So we'll go back to our email real quick. And this is at the bottom of our email here that it was sent out again. Um, this, uh, this is the email we showed earlier that you received on Friday, February 11th. And it's just going to show you what support classes are in there. Mine's, mine's an example showing that I'm in skilled math, skilled reading, and skills writing. And if you don't have anything listed in there, that means that you are not in any support classes. All right. And go back here real quick. Some of the support classes that you might see are um, ELL, English Language Learners, um, GT Seminar, Learning Lab, Math Resource, Reading Resource, and then our skilled classes and our special ed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so if you are involved in any of those classes right now, you will see that in those boxes and we'll use those when we're signing up for courses because the anticipation is that you might be taking those later on. Now we do, ha I have talked to some teachers and they say that some students won't be taking those classes next year. So if you don't see it in there, but you're in one of those classes, um, talk with your teacher because they may be indicating that you don't, won't be in it for next year. Then lastly, we're going to talk about our, our electives here that you can choose from. So if you're not in, in, in all support classes or in any support classes, you have the option of, of taking music. Um, and in, even if you are in some support class, you're going to still have room to take our, our band, orchestra, and choir. Just like seventh grade, you're going to have the option to take um, our different music offerings. So um, if you're in music this year and like to continue that, you'll have that option next year if it fits in your schedule. Um, another option that we have in eighth grade is Spanish. Now you had Spanish in seventh grade. However, it's a little different in eighth grade because our Spanish in eighth or our in Spanish in eighth grade is our Spanish one class. Spanish one is is uh, listed that way because it's the first year of high school Spanish. You will receive high school credit for this class. So if you are interested in taking Spanish as a foreign language in high school, you um, uh, would can definitely get involved in this class. Um, if you're planning on taking a different language, I would pr probably strongly suggest you don't take Spanish next year. Um, if you're planning on taking French or German or Chinese or Latin in high school, um, Spanish, the Spanish is not going to count towards anything if you if you do if you do that. So, um, just something an option that for our students if they take Spanish one in eighth grade, they can move on to Spanish two in ninth grade and 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 show that progression into high school allows it for them to get done with with language a little earlier. Um, but it is a it is a rigorous class. It does require some academic discipline. So just make sure that you um, have a conversation with this about this is something that you really want to do if you do get involved in this. OK, and then um, when we do sign up for our classes, we are going to ask that um, our parents review um, all of our um, choices here. We're going to walk through the, the session here in a little bit. Um, but at the last question here, we do may, want to make sure that all parents have you reviewed the, their choices before students make their selections? So let's go into our form here. And so I'm back into Canvas and, um, you know, just looking at some of the different things here. We talked about some of those different information. Like I said, if you get a chance, look through that, that information there. This here is the video that um, uh, you're watching right now. So um, if you need to watch this over, this is, this is located on our Canvas page. But what we're going to use is this 2022-23 um, course, eighth grade course registration form. I'm going to click on that here. And I'm going to go into the student view so you guys can so I can show you what it looks like from your view. And ultimately, there are just some instructions that you're going to see on here. Some things that we kind of just talked about. 
um, you know, make sure that um, you ask questions. So if you have if you have questions that you're going through this, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to give my contact information at the end here. Um, also, make sure you have that email um, with the advanced and um, recommendations and the support classes that we just talked about, because um, we're going to use that to, to um, fill out this form and um, just make sure um, you know which support classes you have. Um, some directions, make sure you fill in all the blanks um, to complete it. Um, you have uh, some classes to fill in for electives and study halls. We'll show you how to do that. And then again, make sure that you share your responses with one of your parents. So I'm going to resume the survey because I've already taken it once here. So I'm going to go through and um, just start with questions. So the first question is going to ask is, yeah, I'm meeting with all of you in, in or uh, meeting with the students in um, science classes. So the first question they're going to ask is, what current science teacher? Kind of tell us what, what team you're on. So if you're with Mr. Cleveland, that means you're on the E team. If you're with Mr. Basowski, you're with um, our team, Ms. Judas's S team. I'm just going to click on Ms. Mr. Cleveland as an example here. Next question is our PBL question. We, um, we discussed that at the beginning. Um, our project-based learning is an option, again, for eighth grade. The main thing is that you'll be um, having a humanities class in your schedule. Um, that's more project-based. The rest of the classes will be more traditional. Um, but we do offer that um, project-based learning option for eighth grade. Um, and you click on here, the top one is if you are interested in doing it, you will be uh, likely placed into it, uh, uh, unless numbers don't allow us, but we'll definitely get in contact with you. But if you are definitely interested, I would click on that button. If you're not interested, then please click on that. You will not be placed in, in PBL. If you have no preference either way, you can click that um, the bottom button, and that would be like um, <clears throat> you, might be, you might be placed in it based on numbers or you might not. It just kind of depends on where the numbers are at. So I'm going to put in here I'm interested in PBL for eighth grade. The next one is our PE option. Um, again, we talked about that earlier, where there's the traditional PE, where you work in, um, where you're working in a group, um, and 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 doing more of a team type thing, um, like your baseball, dodgeball, kickball, those types of things. Fundamentals of training is our other one, where it's more individual based and focused on strength and conditioning. So choose whatever one you want to do there. If you have no preference between the two, click that bottom one. Um, I'm going to click on the fundamentals of training here. Is this? Now we're going to talk about our um, advanced op 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 opportunities to sign up for. And the first one they're going to give us is our science teacher. And so what I need to do is go back to my email and see what my science teacher recommended me. So on my email, it says that I would recommend for regular science. So on my form, I'm going to put in here that I was recommended for regular science. Even if you want to take the opposite, you need to put in what you were recommended for for that first one. Now, the next one asks, would you like to continue with that recommendation? If I, if you want to continue with that and um, you're fine with taking regular science, then I will click yes to continue. <laughs> so, um, and then if I, if I, the next question, have you discussed your choice with your, with your question, with your um, science teacher? If I am picking what my science teacher recommended, I can just pick the top one and say, no, I'm choosing what my science teacher recommended. So I am good. So you do not need to contact them if you are choosing what they recommended. Now, if I choose no for this one, I have to pick one of the bottom ones. Either yes, I have talked to my teacher about about this, and this can happen at conferences. That's a bit. That's the best time to talk with your teachers about that. Or no, I have not. In order for you to be put into this um, to, into the opposite one, you have to have a conversation with your teachers. Again, they're they're going to um, they're not going to tell you you can't take it, but they need to just have a conversation to say okay, so they know that that's a, that you're interested in it, and they can kind of give you an idea of what it's about. So. Um, since I am choosing the yes, I will continue with that. I can I can um, pick this top one. No, I'm choosing what my what my teacher wants. Okay, the next one is um, it contains what your social studies recommendation is. So if I go back to my email here, I see that I was actually um, nominated or recommended for advanced social studies. So in my form, I would put in here advanced social studies, and again, I can choose whether this is what I want to continue with or um, choose something different. I choose yes, this is what I want, and I choose no, I'm choosing what my, my teacher did. <clears throat> now, let's say I don't want to take advanced um, social studies. I'm going to keep this up here, advanced social studies, but then I would change no, I want to choose something different, okay? And then, again, you want to make sure you talk with your teacher. Even though you're going from advanced to regular, still talk with your teacher because there's a reason why they pick you for advanced, okay? So I'm going to click that. Yes, I want to continue. And then the last one is our English. And um, I was I was recommended for regular English here, so regular, not advanced. So I go to my survey. I'm going to put in regular English. Now, I'm somebody that I really want to take advanced English, so I want to choose something different. All right. 
So I'm going to choose, I want to choose advanced. So what I have to do now is I have to make sure I, I um, click on the yes once I've talked to my teacher. Now, if I haven't talked to my teacher, I'm going to put no. You can always come back in and change that once you have talked with them. But we need to know if you talk to them. And I will check with teachers to make sure that um, that students or parents have talked with the teacher already. So make sure that you have had that conversation. So I'm going to put no for now because I haven't talked to them. All right. So that's that's our advanced courses. That's that's the choices there. So make sure you put make that accurate there that it will be um, checked through and identified. You know that all those things, all those processes have occurred. The next thing we'll talk about is our electives. Um, these are some things that we talked about there at the end. Um, there's one one class that meets every day, and that's our Spanish class. And then we have our, our every other day classes on the right. Now, if I look at my support classes, this is the first thing I want to look at. What are my support classes in here? I noticed that I have three support classes, skills math, skills reading, and skills writing. So if I go into my survey, I got a support number one, support class number one, a second support class, and a third support class. Now, unfortunately, because I've got three, it says that my, my total points for both groups must equal three. So because of that, I can't choose any other electives. If I've got three support classes, those are the electives that I have, okay, because I'm going to put a, a total of three. Now, if I want to take Spanish or if I want to take an extra music, one option that I can look into is getting rid of the elective block. OK, so if you're somebody that wants to take Spanish or wants to take a, a music in there as well and you have too many support classes, then you can definitely um, opt out of the, the um, elective wheel. However, um, you know, we want we want you to have that option as well. So it's kind of a decision that you're going to make. Now, let's say that I only have one support class. So I'm going to get out of here. All right. If I have one support class, I'd have one point here. So I'd have one point. And then Spain, I could still take Spanish because that's two points. I, I want to make sure it equals three. So I'd have two points. And so I would have the I would still have the opportunity to take, um, you know, uh, Spanish and that support class, whatever that may be. Let's say I have no support classes. OK, so I don't have any support classes. I could put in here chorus. I could put in your band, okay? So I still have I still have an opportunity to take Spanish and take band. Now let's say I do have a support class and I'd like to take a music, band, orchestra, or choir. Now this won't allow me to take that if I want to take Spanish as well. So I have to kind of choose whether I want to take band or Spanish. This could also happen if I was taking um, if I was taking chorus and band, okay? I couldn't take both chorus and band and take Spanish. Again, we could you could say that you wanted to take the um uh, or not do the electric wheel and you need to just email me if that's the case but um if you are wanting to take that electric wheel you'd have to give up probably the spanish if you are um going to take chorus and band or multiple musics you can take chorus band and orchestra if it fits in there if that's what you've taken in the past so just like in seventh grade you can take those options but it's something um you need to just kind of make sure you you have a total of three in these in these boxes here if you want to take two musics and you want a study hall, you can do that. You could take one music and a study hall. Now, one thing you cannot do is make sure is make these all study halls. So you have to have at least a music, or if you're taking Spanish, if you're taking Spanish, you could have a study hall here. And then these would be blank. Okay. So if you're taking Spanish, yes, you could take a, a study hall. Music is not required, so you don't have to take music. And so that would make one here and two here. <laughs> okay. But our goal for all this is to make sure that you have both groups must equal three. And then if there's a course that you really wanted, but you can't really fit in there or there's something you maybe would want to do, these are some different offerings. So if you want it, maybe you couldn't fit chorus in there, but maybe um, as an alternate, you could put chorus in there. Um, or maybe you just want to, you know, if it fits, maybe you just want a study hall. Okay. If there's nothing that you really wanted in there um, that you can't fit in there, then you just put none. And you can just click on none for those, and that's fine. If, there, if you've got what you needed up above, then you are good here. We'll put none for both of those. Okay. All right, so make sure that those, those top ones fill up to, to three points. And then our last thing that you have to do is just make sure you talk with your parent or guardian about this. Once you have talked with this, um, you can, you can um, go ahead and submit it. Okay. And so I can, I can submit it now if I haven't talked to them yet. Oh, it says I got I got to answer that question. So I got to wait and I got to make sure that I talk to my parents at some point. Okay. And um, actually, you can submit it now. But just once you got that done, 
then you're going to want to um, you want to do it again. Okay. So I can come up here and take survey again and just make sure that I have. Okay. It erases your schedule, but just make sure at the end, once you've got all that done, that you have um, that you have uh, talked over with your parent, submit your quiz. And then that that's good. Just make sure you click submit so that we have the answers there. And if any questions come up, please do reach out to me. Um, this is my email address, uh, johnsonbr at wdmcs.org. Um, feel free to shoot me any emails. Give me a call if you need to. Uh, uh, my number is 633-6004. Or just come visit me in the office if you're a student. Or we can set up a time to talk. But um, hopefully this video is of help to you to walk through the process. Again, if, it, if questions come up, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we're here to help. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that you're getting all the information you need when, when setting this up and, um, and all your answers are, 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 are all your questions are answered um, so we can start preparing you for next year. Thank you very much for listening. And again, reach out if you have any questions.